so this is Roto from Roto's Questions, and I've got an exciting new series I want to share with you guys. It's called The Entrepreneur Lifestyle. So what we're going to do is just I'm going to introduce you to my buddy Torin here. We're going to talk about some of the things that he has to do to start his business and some challenges, successes, and we'll just get right into it. It's The Entrepreneur Lifestyle, it's just so you guys can get an insight into what it's like to live like an entrepreneur. So this is Torin, my buddy. We've known each other for a long time. We played soccer back in the day. He was a beast on the field, and he's a beast now in his entrepreneurship and in the gym. So I'll just let him talk about what he does, who he is, and why he chose to live the entrepreneur lifestyle. Awesome. How's it going, everybody? So my name is Torian Wellman. As he had mentioned, uh, I run my business, Wellman Wellness Training. And the reason why I started my business was to kind of give a different perspective and a different mindset and a different approach to exercise. Uh, I find that in my industry, which is personal training, uh, there's a lot of similar uh, training styles, similar training methods, where people are typically just, you know, doing isolated movement patterns, which can no doubt make you look better, but are you moving better? Are you feeling better? Do you still have energy? Do you have headache problems? Do you have shoulder problems? Stuff like that. So I started incorporating uh, some more self uh, corrective or self-maintenance and restorative techniques utilizing specific equipment that you may have seen in the gym. So uh, foam rollers, uh, anything with like a hard structure like a hard hockey ball or a tennis ball, stuff like that. We start incorporating those into your warm-up patterns and then kind of just understanding and listening the body, uh, listening to the body when, you know, there's some type of issues or some type of tightness and inflammation, maybe spending some time learning how to roll out certain specific areas that may cause those problems. With that being said, it also helps increase your metabolic rate. Uh, it helps you with your energy, as we've mentioned, and it will also help you lose weight. So I've tried to incorporate that with my clients and then just also on my social media presence with videos and philosophies to kind of let people know that this is more of a holistic uh, wellness approach, hence the name Wellman Wellness Training. Perfect. So then one question I'd have for you on this same topic is, so then why why start your own business versus, say, being just a personal trainer at World Health or some other kind of gym? So why did you go the entrepreneur? So I actually started at a World Health or started at a big box gym. Uh, I found that um, their approach and their perspective and their mindset and their bottom line was a lot different than what I was looking for. Uh, it was more about numbers there. It was more about... Um, you know, getting more people in front of you as opposed to really helping people yeah. and encapsulating the full holistic health approach that I was looking for. Also, uh, as an entrepreneur, obviously, I take home more than I would if I was splitting it with a, you know, big oh, yeah. box gym or a big commercial enterprise, right? So that was kind of what made me, you know, look at more into entrepreneurship and running my own business because uh, the scope and the influence was kind of limited at the place I was at. Whereas now I can network with people, there's no type of conflict of interest, and I'm able to, you know, apply my knowledge and really, uh, you know, network with the people that are going to essentially make me more successful. Perfect, guys. All right, so then when you, once you chose to move from the big box gym to becoming an entrepreneur, what would you say was your, one of the biggest challenges you faced in starting your own business? So, I mean, if, if you're behind a, you know, I guess a big box gym or some type of an enterprise, uh, your scope and your influence could be very limited. Maybe not a lot of people may know you because you're stuck to that one specific location. Moving that into entrepreneurship, um, just really building more of a presence and more of an influence and really have a following so you can have more consistent uh, clientele or consistent business is probably one of the biggest challenges and letting people know where you're coming from, understanding your philosophies. If you haven't built a reputation, sometimes it can be a little bit harder to really get people to follow you, even if you have the greatest knowledge, right? It's just building that influence and kind of being resilient through the times that you may not necessarily have as many people as you'd like, even though you feel like you're deserving for it. So I would say that's probably one of the biggest challenges I've had. So the biggest challenge is getting your name out there and letting people know how how you can help them. Right. Pretty much. Right? Yes, definitely. Like you said, if you can have the best program in the world, but if nobody knows about it, then it's not doing any good. So Yes, very All true. right. So then moving forward, you've been in this how long have you been doing this? I've been this doing for? personal training now for about eight years, about yeah. three and a half years on my own. All right. So let's say three and a half years as an entrepreneur. Obviously it's not easy and 
there's going to be ups and downs. What would you say is some one of the bigger challenges that you have on an on an ongoing basis that you face kind of on a daily basis or so I think a lot of it is, you know, personal. I think a lot of it's going to be, um, you know, the belief system, the belief system that you have within yourself in order to be able to, you know, follow through with what you had initially planned when you set goals and stuff like that because of the hardships that may come when business is slow, right? Especially in my business, uh, we typically don't see a lot of clientele or a lot of, you know, traction in the summer months because people typically want to get away and that's that's good for them, right? But just keeping that mindset and that consistency of uh, positive, you know, positive thinking, positive influence, uh, positive presence can be one of the biggest challenges, especially when business is relatively slow, because obviously it's going to hurt your pocketbook to a yeah. certain degree, right? And you have the times where you, you start to doubt yourself. Right. So it's all about like, you know, that positive influence and inputting positive people into your lives and spending time and networking with people who have gone before you. Mentorship is really important. Um, including those elements can be hard for some people because we're usually stuck in our, you know, our routine that we're stuck in the way we think, right? So really changing your perspective or changing your approach or your mindset would be one of the biggest challenges and staying consistent on that because you're usually going to revert back to your habits. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. So keep your mindset right, guys, and watch who you're associating with, who you're staying around, and just make sure you're putting positive things into your mind on a daily basis very important so now moving from some of the challenges that you've had to what are some of the things that have worked for you some things that you've had success with uh i find that i have a lot of success you know really connecting with people as much as i know uh with all the respects of fixing people with injury rehabilitation sports performance bodybuilding i can train all those elements but I think the best thing that really worked was making good connections and making consistent and honest and, you know, loyal connections, right? Yeah. Uh, including people in, you know, social activities, uh, just getting to know them on a personal basis. Really getting to know people has been one of my biggest successes uh, thus far. And then, you know, facing your fears. Sometimes it can be hard and challenging to go into a network of people that may, have, you know, have way more success than you, right? They may not necessarily know you, but they give off that aura and kind of, you know, uh, learning and understanding from them. So uh, just networking with those people really gives you perspective on, you know, you can actually make this work. As long as you can stay consistent and you keep inputting those influences in your life, you're definitely going to get somewhere, right? So, I mean, with that and then giving people more to fall back on. I, I found when I first started my business, uh, I kind of took a, a bit of an ignorant approach. Uh, I had a lot of knowledge and I was sharing with my clients. But when we had our engaging one-on-one -on -one session, they were engaged, right? But when they went home, they had nothing to fall back on. So when I started, you know, including uh, more of a social media presence, videos with some stuff attached to why we're doing certain things, and, you know, people had stuff to refer to, that's what really got me successful. And then finally, I would say uh, just getting connected with charity work. Uh, I've done a lot of charity work in respects to uh, Kids Sport, which is an organization that looks at helping less privileged kids to kind of, um, you know, get involved with, um, you know, sports, paying for their equipment, their registration, you name it. And we did a couple of uh, charity events for them uh, the last few, few years. We actually didn't do it this year, but uh, previous to that, we had done those. And then just connecting with charities and connecting with good social events, uh, that really helps you because then you make really good connections and you get to meet like-minded entrepreneurs, like-minded people who are really looking to change their life and essentially take ownership of their life. I think that's what we're kind of missing in society today. Everybody's so focused on, you know, having the nine to five job and living comfortably, and they kind of shrink their dreams, you know, to, to fit that salary or fit that job description or fit that active income that they're so, you know, pursuant on, right? So uh, those have been the things that have really, really helped me and really uh, helped me be more successful, keep my mind positive and continue to show growth. Nice. Thanks for that. What's your motivation? I mean, there's there's a lot of challenges. There's things that don't work. There's the up and downs that mm -hmm. we talked about. So what's your motivation to keep on going? You said you're three and a half years into being an entrepreneur. What's your motivation? What keeps you going to want to reach the five year mark, the 10 year mark? Uh, well, I really want to influence the industry. I mean, uh, I really want people to look at exercise in a different light, a uh, different perspective. Uh, just sticking to one type of method, like you say, better be bodybuilding or powerlifting or, you know, sprint, whatever it may be, uh, can be 
can be it can help you to a certain degree but i definitely want people to understand how they can help themselves right because no doubt along the way of exercise or even in life there's pitfalls and there's going to be negative outcomes if they learn how to do it themselves um, they're going to save money they're really going to learn something and they're going to have a lot more confidence when they do perform or they do try new things or new elements right uh, i want people to understand those concepts i want people to really embrace them and understand you know the the bigger benefit with it the bigger picture so to speak rather than always focusing on the short-term goal let's focus on short-term and long-term and stack those together an ultimate learning experience is really going to take you so much farther and you start learning a little bit more about ownership for your personal reasons right i mean if you understand a concept you're able to apply it you see the outcomes for it and it's very positive you can transfer that into other aspects of your life so i would say that is definitely one of my biggest motivators and I know for myself, um, I'm very active and I'm not myself when I'm not active. Uh, being in this specific industry allows me to flourish as a person and really give back to, you know, my loved ones and the people that I connect with and I'm able to touch up with, right? So that's probably one of my biggest motivators. That's awesome. I love it because the motivation is being able to know you can make a difference in people's lives. Right. And I know that's something that a lot of entrepreneurs want to do. That's a big motivation for a lot of people because you get you get to make a difference and you get to do something where that you love and you know is making a difference for people. All right, so getting with the people again, what would you, for everyone that's watching today and they want to know, like, you know what, I want to get fit. I don't really know what to do. I don't really know what to start. Because those are the two biggest objections I usually hear when I talk to people about health. It's like, right. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Right. So what would you say today to people and something they can start today on just an, a piece of advice on how to get fit? Okay. So I would say the, the best way to get started is just do some body weight stuff. Uh, get your cardio up. Uh, really focus on your core elements. Get your legs moving properly. You want good ranges of motion, right? You want to work on those elements first. Then as you master those things, you can start incorporating resistance, whether it be, you know, a cable system, a free weights, right? And you want to focus more on functional movement patterns that we will focus on on a day to day basis rather than hitting a bunch of machines, which no doubt will sculpt your muscles. It won't allow you to move better. And if your goal is to just have more energy, uh, play with your kids, uh, play sports, you've got to kind of mimic those things in your program design when you do get to that point. So focusing on free weights, focusing on those body weight movements, and focusing on a lot of core strengthening is usually the best bet to get started. Sweet. I love it. And then, so now staying on the advice topic, what would you give as advice to someone that's watching this and they, they're they thinking about taking that risk, taking, taking the leap and going into the entrepreneurship lifestyle? What advice would you give to them? Uh, I would say take the leap. Um, the time is now. Uh, you don't want to do it when, you know, you, you might have ran out of a little bit of uh, confidence, when you've ran out of a little bit of energy. Uh, no doubt it's going to be scary, but you definitely want to take the leap because if you've been thinking about it for a while, you obviously want something different in your life. You need a different outcome in your life. You're not focused on, you know, those aspects of working the active income salary job that we're you know accustomed to learn and try to follow or try to pursue right uh, you want more for your life obviously you want ownership in your life so i would really focus on just taking the leap and if you're scared then go before people that have done it before you right you need to get mentorship you need to network yeah. with people you need to look online and look for people that can give you advice because the cool thing about entrepreneurs is we're all in it together right we're really helping each other out as long as you do the research you can find people who are going to help you out and give you advice right i mean and as long as you keep inputting that into your system as long as you keep inputting that into your brain you will see success it may take some time but you're definitely going to see success it's just kind of you know sticking with the course is sticking with the plan so to speak so i would say that's probably one of the best advice that i ever got and one of the best choices i ever made was to continue to follow mentorship follow people who were before me and follow those uh, who had the results i wanted because they were willing to help Right. So if I was able to, you know, ask them for advice and I was paying attention and I applied those things, I've usually reaped success or benefits from those. So just that would be the biggest advice. Take the leap, uh, make sure it happens for you and continue to can input the positive influences into your your life and be honest with people, relate to people. If you're just starting, let them know, you know, I, 
kind of nervous? Would you have any suggestions? Stuff like that. Even the people that you're dealing with, your clients, your you know your customers, let them know. Right? It's better to have an open book policy yeah. rather than um, yeah. you know trying to hide things or you know stay behind a specific image that you're trying to encapsulate or have. Yeah, just be genuine and authentic. Yeah. Build build that relationship. Yeah. You know, like it add a little to what you're saying. It's just just get started. Yeah. You're you're not you're never gonna get there if you don't start. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like we talked about, there's gonna be challenges and there's gonna be successes. But for anything to happen, you have to get started. So, like Torrance said, just take the leap, find the mentorship, and just get started. Hmm. That would yeah. be my number one piece of advice. Just do it. Stop thinking about it and just do it. So that's about all the time we have for the entrepreneur lifestyle series here for our first episode. But I want to give you guys a chance to find Torrance. I mean, if you guys like what he's talking about and everything, I'm going to let him talk about where you can reach him, you know, like websites, social media, and all that kind of stuff. So we're here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So that's for anyone that's in Edmonton or also anyone around the world, you can find him online. So Torrance, why don't you tell everyone how they can find you and what you have going on right now? Okay. So my best uh, way to kind of understand what I give specifically is to check out my website. Uh, my website would be www.wellmanwellnesstraining.net. Uh, and then also my social media presence. Uh, I do have a Facebook page. I have my personal Facebook page, which is just Torian Wellman, T-A-U-R-E-A-N, and then just Wellman. And then I do have my Wellman Wellness Training Facebook landing page, if you will. Uh, that's obviously Wellman Wellness Training on Facebook. Uh, if you were to find me on Instagram, that would be Wellman Wellness Training. Um, and then also on Hoots, or sorry, not Hootsuite, but uh, LinkedIn, uh, my my page on there is just Torian Wellman, right? And then on Twitter would be at Torian Wellman. So that would be the best way to reach me. Uh, right now, I do have a bit of a summer madness program where I'm actually incorporating two uh, online programs that I typically give out for a package deal. So if you are looking for something that's going to give you better mobility, help you lose weight, uh, give you more energy, look into some of those elements of uh, rollout and recovery techniques and really staying away from injuries, uh, the two programs that I provide in that is actually, you know, really good for those uh, elements. And that's uh, on a bit of a deal. Usually it goes around close to almost $800. And right now I'm giving it away for about $200. So that's an option oh, for you. Yeah, that's, that's an option for you. So, and I, like I said, that's why it's called the summer madness deal. Uh, you can typically, you know, spend upwards of, like I said, close to $800, something like that. So I'm giving it away for a really, you know, decent price and it's reasonable for everybody. So uh, that would be probably the best bet uh, to get started. If you're not necessarily in the city of Edmonton, or if you have a little bit of experience, you just need something to kind of motivate you, push you past your plateau or get to the next level. Perfect. I love it. So thank you, Torin, for coming on here and letting us know a little bit about the entrepreneur lifestyle that you live and just the ways that you try and help people through your business. So thanks, guys. And we'll catch you next time. And there'll be links for all of his social media and website and everything in the description below. Awesome. So